Hey, how's everybody doing? It is Mass Man Reviews back again with a quick initial sniff video, first sniff video. And what we're um, gonna smell today is Synthetic Jungle by Frederick Mall. So interesting, uh, another Frederick Mall. This one came out in uh, 2021. So it is fairly new. I believe it came out in the summer of 2021. Uh, and uh, the perfumer behind this one is Anne uh, Filippo. Anne Filippo. Very interesting fragrance. Um, I'm going to read to you basically the notes uh, from Frederick Mall themselves about this fragrance. Just a quick summary. And what they have to say is that this is an ode to scents from the 1970s. So kind of keep that in mind. Uh, synthetic Jungle EDP imagines nature created by, um, reimagines nature created by Anne Filippo. The fragrance is built with a bouquet of hyacinth, lily of the valley, natural jasmine, alang alang, and accompanied by opulent um, jasmine. Um, and it's uh, a, a Shebra a leather base. So interesting uh this is classified as a shebra although it is a very very um quote unquote green scent and people um i've read that people say it's a very very green scent but to me it's a very very leafy scent so it has um a leafy basil and it has this um kind of this um almost crushed herb um scent profile not not like um only basil but just leaves in general like a, a strong leaf that you would crush in your hand and then you would get that um leafy green scent profile in addition to that the the lily of the valley and the jasmine are very prominent so you get a very strong white floral forward fragrance from the start so that is really what kind of jumps at you as it kind of settles down a little bit more, you get a little bit more of the sheep uh, qualities until it completely dries down. So it really does kind of transition from a very green scent to almost um, a very subdued, um, still green, but with uh, touches of additional, uh, the, the best way I would describe it is spices. It's not leathery at all. I don't detect the leather, but you could see something kind of going on in the background where um, uh, some of uh, the uh, more uh, resinous notes are trying to uh, peek through. Um, almost a dryness to it at, 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 at the base. When it first starts off, like I said, it's very green and lush. I'm gonna spray this on again once more. And really the opening is like what people um, tend to be uh, caught in. Um, it, it's very polarizing, the opening. It's very strong, very uh, direct and forward. And even now, it's a little bit different, this opening. So I, I still detect that greenness, but I'm, the, the basil and the, the black currant is coming a bit more forward. It, it almost has this... Um, Almost kind of like a garden uh, variety uh, plant um, mixture, but it's really nice. I'm not getting as much of, of the lily of the valley and the jasmine right now, um, and it could be because I resprayed. But man, it, it, it smells really good after the, the second refresh. Um, kind of almost caught me off guard because I, I was expecting that, that forwardness of those white florals to come out. It's very white floral heady and also um, green and herbaceous at the same time. But when I say green and herbaceous, I, I kind of mean leafy vegetal, not um, like grass or anything like that or vetiver, nothing like that. You won't get vetiver in this. It doesn't seem like it has vetiver at all, but it has um, kind of like this freshness to it. That, that you get and I'm getting that freshness right now but when I first sprayed it on 
and smelled it. There was something else that was kind of peeking through and making itself known, but that has since went away. Again, uh, I had the full dry down. I just resprayed. When it's uh, dry down completely, some of that greenness and that herbal er herbiness, it, it gets much more subdued and other um, facets um, and, and almost kind of like a, a touch of sweet florals kind of peek through, but it's, it's not super pronounced. Um, the issue that I'm having with this fragrance is is really that um, the price point is very expensive, to, to, just to be quite honest. But it is a lovely, lovely fragrance. And um, I think it's a, a really good addition to uh, the, the Frederick Mall collection. I, I just don't see myself personally reaching for this um, that much. But it is it is stunning. Mm, I might change my mind. I mean, this is a fragrance that you definitely, this is just my first uh, sniff. I've, I, 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 I kind of cheated, I'm going to be honest with you. I've sniffed this before, so this is not my first, first sniff, but this is uh, my first um, kind of wear with it and, and that I'm sitting with it. So this is something that you definitely want to give a couple of wears on um, in order to kind of get fully acclimated because that opening is really what's super polarizing about this fragrance and you, you just just based off, off of that opening because it's just it's very um it, it's like either you like it or you don't some people don't really like green uh scents so um if you don't like green scents and if you don't like white florals it may kind of shock you a bit and the way that it's used in this fragrance it's not um like a a musky white floral it, it's not like super musky um, there, there's nothing that kind of would throw you off. So it's very clean in, in that sense. Um, so the name synthetic is not really befitting to the to the um, fragrance. It's almost like a play on, on, on words, if you will. But if you sit with this a little bit more, you'll see that, that, that those white floral, florals that kind of um, reach out to you in the beginning kind of subside a little bit more in the base and it turns into something a, a, a bit different it trans it has a transformative quality to it which um is enjoyable to some again I, i'm not i i did get a little bit of that uh sheeper leather in in the base but it's not enough to for me to say wow this is um a total transformation from the white floral beginning so um again that's just my first uh, sniff or my first initial thoughts on this fragrance. Uh, I'll have to sit with it a little bit more, but for now, um, it's just a little bit polarizing to, to be quite honest, because uh, the other offerings from Frederick Mall seem to, um, I would say be more, um, you, you, you kind of know what you're gonna get from it. This one, Although you know what you're getting, which is that uh, herbace, herbaceous uh, leafy greenness, it does transform a little bit. So I'll, I'll have to give it again a little bit more um, where to see where it goes. All right, that is my thoughts on, on this fragrance. Um, tell me what you think. I would say definitely this is a, a try before you buy, unless you're uh, a fanatic of white florals. And even then, give it a try because it's not um, it's not your typical white floral. All right. Talk to you later. I'm out. Peace.